Hi friends, I'm John Laspina, the carnivore teacher. Today we're going to take a look at a nutritional label of a processed food item that claims to be extremely healthy. So I want to show you why it's so important to read ingredient labels, nutritional information. I'm not even going to tell you what this processed food product is because that doesn't matter. When you go into a grocery store or wherever, and you want to buy something, always look at the nutritional label and the ingredient list, no matter what. If it's not just one ingredient like ground beef, right, or chicken, and even those you have to look at the ingredients because they sometimes sneak things in there to sweeten it up or whatever in the mix. Read ingredient labels. Let's take a look at this one. Notice at the very top it says protein plus gluten-free plus prebiotics plus low glycemic plus fiber plus vegan. This must be super healthy. Don't just put it in your cart. It's probably some kind of bar, some kind of supposed nutritional bar. Notice what is the largest, most bold-faced font there. What is it? Calories. The industry wants you, the public, to think that calories are important. And it says it has 140 calories. Serving size is one scoop. Maybe this is a cereal. I don't know. But let's break that down. It only has one gram of fat, so that must be good, right? It's only zero saturated fat and zero trans fat and zero cholesterol. And the industry, the commercials, everybody tells you that's good. So that's what's first on the list. Isn't that interesting? Then we scroll down and we see sodium. We know that is like salt, 220 milligrams, but it's only 10% of the RDA, so maybe that's okay. And then, you know, then it throws in total carbohydrates. Oh, that's just 20 grams. And then dietary fiber is seven. Fiber is good for you. Insoluble fiber, two. Total sugars, you know, 10 grams, uh, includes 10 grams of added sugars. It's only 20% of the product. And there's 13 grams of protein. Protein, we all know is good for you, and it is. And then it lists vitamin D4, calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin C, thiamine, riboflavin. Those are the B vitamins. Niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. What percentage of the recommended RD? Notice what I skipped over real fast. And they put them in the middle, and they don't think you care about it. And that is carbohydrates, sugar, and added sugar. This product, whatever it is, contains 20 total grams of carbohydrates. That, ladies and gentlemen, converts into sugar in your body. And then that's broken down and it tells you it has 10 grams of total sugar and 10 grams of added sugar. That's where the 20 comes from. So you're, you know, we already have one teaspoon of glucose flowing in our bloodstream at all times. Our liver gives us that to maintain uh, homeostasis with, with the glucose for parts of the body that we need. You're going to add 20 more grams of sugar to that so that your body's got to jump through all these hoops to neutralize that sugar. Terrible. Let's go over to the ingredient list and break that down. Look at this Franken food paragraph of ingredients. Do you really want to put this in your body? I always tell you what we should put in our body. We should put in protein, all the amino acids that make up a complete protein, fatty acids, which are omega-3 and omega-6 in a healthy one-to-one or two-to-one or three-to-one ratio, fat-soluble vitamins, water-soluble vitamins, and minerals or electrolytes. But they don't list that too much, do they? They list all these things thinking, oh, that you don't, you're the public, you don't know what a lot of this stuff is, and so you're not gonna really pay attention to it. First thing is soy protein, inflammatory. It's a legume. Organic evaporated cane sugar. Second ingredient is sugar. And maybe they put the or organic evaporated part in front of it to make the sugar sound better. Sugar is sugar is sugar, ladies and gentlemen. Then we have acacia gum. I believe that's used to th you know, thicken it up. Then there's cocoa, which is processed with alkali. There's fructoleogosaccharides, 
All right, come on. You hear the word fructose and you hear saccharides. What's that? Sugar. Hello. It's fructose. Then we have plant cellulose, which is a fiber that just goes right through you. Natural flavor. Oh, it must be good. It's natural. Well, what the heck is it? They never tell you. Most of the time, natural flavor is MSG or more sugar or something else that they don't want you to know. So they say, you know, the government allows them to say natural flavors. Then we have chickpea powder. Chickpea is a legume. It's a bean. It's a pea. It's basically carbohydrates. Xanthan gum is a thickener. Calcium carbonate calcium citrate, pea protein, again, pea, it's, it's going to turn into a glucose, rice protein, all right, they're calling it protein, but it comes from rice, it comes from peas, sea salt, oh my gosh, I found something that looks good, sea salt, <laughs> sprouts and ancient grains, what kind of sprouts, what kind of ancient grains, it's a grain, grains are inflammatory, Grains have gliatin, which actually stimulates the endorphins in our brain. There, it's almost like a, it's like it, it, it attaches onto our opiate receptors. Did you know that? Grains are kind of addictive. So, of course, everything's made out of grains. Then we have radish sprout. Oh, must be good. Organic amaranth. There's another grain, but it's organic. Organic quinoa. Organic millet. What are these? Grain pumpkin powder oh that must be good right pomegranate powder all right rice bran what is that it's a grain it's the bran from the rice it turns into it's a carbohydrate folks digestive enzymes because you know you have to digest it so they've got to add it calcium ascorbate cit citrus pectin that's okay i guess uh, niacinamide I don't like the end of that word. And you know, if you don't know something, these big, long chemical words, what do we have at our access? We have the Google machine. You, you have it on your phone. It's portable. You're in the grocery store. Take a minute. Stop. Type in niacin, whatever it was, niacinamide. Sounds like niacin. And look it up. What is it? Maybe it's harmless, but maybe it's just another sugar or maybe it's another chemical to make it look pretty. Then we have stevia leaf extract. Now stevia doesn't bother a lot of people. It's a natural from the, from the leaf sweetener that doesn't raise your glycemic index. So that's okay for most people. Gives me a headache. Reb A, I don't know what that is. Apple fiber, ooh, apple fiber. Spirulina powder, <laughs> uh, yucca powder. Right, we're talking carbohydrates, folks, it's a root. It's like the potato. Uh, guar gum is a thickener. Mushroom powder must be good. It's mushroom. <laughs> uh, oh, this doesn't look good. Peroxide, hydrochloride. That sounds like the stuff I pour on a wound if I have a cut. I don't know if I want to drink that. Um, riboflavin, thiamine, mononitrate, and vitamin B12. So those are B vitamins and then contain soy. They put that in bold face because the company can get sued if you have anaphylaxic shock because you're allergic to soy. They don't care about you. They just put it in bold to protect themselves. Okay. Then it says this product is gluten-free. To find out more about our, I don't know how it's gluten-free with all those, with all those grains. That's interesting. So Ladies and gentlemen, to summarize, this right here is frankenfood. This right here is masquerading as a healthy product by their verbiage, by the way they word it, by the way they listed things in certain orders. This is processed crap, masquerading as a healthy product. And I, again, who cares what it is? Learn. Take your phone, and if you don't know what something is and you want to know what it is because you're putting it in your body, find out. Make consumer-informed decision to not digest these foods. Stick with foods that have one ingredient, or if you're going to buy something with ingredients, take the time to read them and make sure there's just a few ingredients with none of them being sugar, none of them being carbohydrates, and none of them being added flavors, colors, preservatives, shiny sprays, these chemicals, you don't even know what they are. Buy beef, 
by lamb, by pork, by poultry, by fish, by eggs. And you'll be healthy as all get out. You really will. So eat well, not this crap. And you will become the optimized version of yourself and live a longer and more productive life. Have a wonderful day.